This is Echo 3, and let's discuss launching into orbit from Kerbin. Players have different methods that they think work best for getting into orbit. In this video, we'll use this rocket and attempt to get into orbit using four different approaches. Our rocket has a starting vacuum delta V total of 4,506 meters per second, and we will attempt to reach a circular 100 kilometer orbit flying east by hand. Then we will look at the delta V remaining and compare our test results. We will not be getting back into orbit around any other planet or moon, as the best launch profile will differ depending on the terrain and atmosphere. I will only be using this rocket, so the only variable will be the launch profile. Other potential variables, such as optimal thrust to weight ratio, staging, aerodynamics, and which direction you launch are outside the test scope. For our first test, I will launch this rocket almost straight up and attempt to get into a circular 100 km orbit. This method is pretty easy to understand. Go up until you get to space, then go sideways until you are in orbit. Delta V maps will typically use the figure 3,400 meters per second of Delta V. This number is based off of the vacuum ISP rating for your engine. You may notice that you are doing better or worse than this. Hopefully, this video will help you see why. We are almost into orbit right now, and we are going to see what our final test results are. I didn't quite reach 100 kilometers, but we're close. Our final result of 74 meters per second of delta V means we used 4,432 meters per second to get into our orbit. Our second attempt, we used the old advice of launching straight up for 10 kilometers, then tilting 45 degrees east for this, for the rest of the ascent. We will finish the circularization at our apoapsis. This advice comes from the early days of the game, but the atmospheric modeling has changed since then. We shall see how effective this advice still is. We are, we got a nice apoapsis here, close to 100 kilometers, and we will burn our maneuver here and see what our final totals are. We look like we're doing way better than our first attempt. And it looks like we are going to end up using, all right, looks like we have 7, 749 meters per second of delta V left. That means it only took us 3,757 meters per second. Our third attempt, we use a gentle gravity turn, going straight up until we are traveling about 100 meters per second, then beginning to tilt the rocket east. We will still try to be going 45 degrees at 10 kilometers and keep tilting the rocket over, pointing generally prograde until we achieve a 100 kilometer apoapsis. We will then finish our circularization at that point. Here we set up our maneuver node and it looks like based off of our maneuver node, that we are doing better than our previous two attempts. And we will be able to see here as we finish our burn what our final totals are. And it looks like we have 1,090 meters per second of delta V left. That means it only took us 3,416 meters per second to get into space. The final launch will use a gravity turn, but it's going to be a little bit more aggressive trying to be tilted around 45 degrees by 8 kilometers and continuing to tilt until the craft is almost horizontal with the surface as it accelerates. The Oberth effect still applies while accelerating through the atmosphere. In general, gravity loss is far as a, sorry, is a far larger factor than the atmospheric drag. A gravity turn can be too aggressive if you end up needing to fire your vacuum engines in too low in the atmosphere or you are burning parts up or destroying them with aerodynamic forces. And we have actually quite a ways to coast due to how much we have accelerated in the atmosphere. And we're going to set up our maneuver node here. And it looks like we're going to be even slightly more efficient as we burn this. And we'll see exactly what we finish up here. But it looks like our final test results of 1,198 meters per second left. Uh, and that means we used 3,308 meters per second. And if you're interested in the craft I use for this video, uh, here it is. I did use a couple making history parts. The engine, the Bobcat, and the engine plate are from the DLC. Other than that, it's a very simple design that you could attempt to replicate. Um, very capable for reaching low curve and orbit, even with a very poor launch file. Hey, thanks for joining me to discuss gravity turns. See you next time.